So there, there's the Pamphibetes gladioma. Got tons more room, as you can see. Uh, I got this thing on clearance at Petco a month or so ago. It's a uh, plastic hauled out log. Thought it would work good for her. I put some leaf litter in. Um, I added vermiculite to keep some moisture in because um, they do like it a little damp. And we are going to throw um, some isopods in here with her. Probably feed her in another day or two. You can see she she can stand to have a meal. Looking good though. It's craving. So that's her. Let me uh let me see if we can get the harpac to your pulcopy, see if she's out. If not, we'll just kind of browse the enclosure. Okay, so she's not out, which I expected, but you can see those blue legs. Look at them. I don't know how well you can see. Let me pause. I'll turn the flash on. Hold on. Okay. not easy to see but you can see look at those legs look how blue they are now, I'm not going to coax her out I'm just gonna let her be when she's ready to be out and filmed um, she's got plenty of time uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing her out um, I'm looking forward to getting her out and having some nice um, she's a great eater fantastic uh, feeding response when she isn't in pre-molt, so that's a Caesar. Um, but yeah, I wanted to update everybody, and I think a couple people actually watched the video before I got a chance to watch it and realized that I didn't have sound on it, and that was my fault because I didn't even bother scanning it before I put it up. I was in a hurry um, to get it done. But uh, yeah, I will update... Um, I am working tomorrow morning. I don't know if, if Cujo is done molting by then. I will update everybody tomorrow before I go to work. If not, it'll be after work tomorrow afternoon sometime. But uh, other than that, everybody's doing okay. Again, I haven't seen any mites in any of the other containers. It seemed to have been um, contained to those deli cups for some reason. We think that they... They were either wood mites or they were what they call mealworm mites. Mites are not necessarily dust mites or grain mites, but um, they may have come from, you know, a, a shipment of uh, mealworms that I had um, to beef up the uh, colony a little bit. Um, so hopefully, you know, with me getting rid of the the enclosures I threw the, the deli cups away, threw the substrate away, and I'm redoing the millworm farm tomorrow. Um, they'll be completely cleaned out. I'll kind of rinse the worms off, put them into new oatmeal in a new four tier container. Um, the top tier will be the isopods. Um, with the millipedes and the second tier will be the mario worms the third tier will be the beetles for the uh, the darkling beetles for the mealworms and then the bottom of course will be the actual mealworms where the babies will go down and go from there i have a bunch of people at work wanting to buy them for fishing so i think i have probably i would say three or four hundred of them right now with about 20, 25 beetles. So, you know, I should have, you know, within a month I should have a thousand again. So be right close for trout fishing time here in Erie, in Erie County. So I just wanted to update everybody with actual audio and visual this time. So you can actually hear what you're seeing instead of looking at uh, pictures of something and you have no idea what's going on and then of course when I did the Cujo thing I had the camera the wrong way so it was it was vertical instead of horizontal which I hate so that's uh, that's everybody 
and uh, the container that Traven was in, the Systema container here, you could see the difference in enclosure size for, for her. Um, I think she probably could have stayed in that container for a molt, but you could see how much more room she has now. So she's going to be good in there for a good while. And um, i got to figure out who is going to go in there. I'm probably Lincoln, the Brachypoma albopelosum. I think he is the biggest out of the T's that are up top in the containers in the back here. You can see the containers in the back. There, These ones aren't a, a huge difference in size, but big enough. Um, uh, that one also might be a candidate there. The Penelorus um, Tomy female. Uh, here is my... I did tell you, I don't know if I did tell you, but uh, I did find out that Diablo is definitely a mature male, a Pyramenia. I did see the hooks and the emboli last time. Uh, he was actually out, out, finally. Um, so he's going to be going off. There's a, well, you got a roach and a beetle in there that I'm going to try and get out here tonight. Um, Diablo used to love eating these darkling beetles. and I don't know why there's not much to them, but he was one of the only tarantulas that would eat them. There's some, you, know, see, you don't get to see this one often, so I'm going to showcase them just a little bit longer. That's Pharaoh. That's the Kaotopelma olivacaeum, the Israeli black. And that's also a candidate for uh, an upgrade. You can see it's just in like a fruit. I think there was watermelon cubes in this thing. I thought that, you know, I got them, ate them at work. And I was like, oh, wait, I'm not going to throw this container away. I'm going to use it. Um, but these Systema containers here, I have two more small ones, so I may move pharaoh into one of those um, and then there is one of the snap tights that's the male polka pol uh, polker and the female is in a container like this where is she right there still she's going to move into one of those and here's the urinensis still in avicularia still probably hiding down in the log um, I'm not sure I have a tall okay like these containers there I got one of those but it's 15 inches tall I can't remember how wide there's panther I can't remember how wide they are a little wider than that but I cut the cover and I'm gonna hinge it and that's gonna be an arboreal container so I had two choices well, three choices of who I was going to put in there. The Uranensis, because she's a female, was one candidate. I thought about Saku, the male Postlotheria metallica. And the other, what is, is, well, you can't see her because she's on the front other side, though, is the Postlotheria subfusca highland um, female. I was thinking about putting her in there. But it probably will end up being the Uranensis is probably going to go in there. Um, just because I just love that spider. It's nice and brown and fuzzy. And uh, I could do a lot with leaving and put a different piece of cork bark in there than that thing that's in there. I can use that for somebody else so that we can see it more often. And uh, i got to do vent holes for it and glue the hinges onto it and then make a latching pin for it um, so yeah that's that's gonna be coming up soon and that'll probably be right around the time that that one's ready to transfer and, and eat there is you can see them there there's apex king baboon and back there I don't know if you guys could see or you can see just a shadow that's a Norman back there the pulcher pulcra and there's the grand stole species north so, yeah, just again, just to update everybody, you know, uh, again, thanks for the concerns. Um, Dave Scott and Glenn Solva, 
and a couple other people that saw the uh, the mites the first time and then the second time there was even more hopefully I have them situated um, I, I watched these enclosures earlier for about an hour stuff in here and uh, the couple baseball cube guys down there I didn't see anything in their enclosures but Again, I may need to just like take a couple of them and then film them for 10 minutes without even looking at them and then just look at the footage and see because then, you know, there's no other focus. I'm not looking at anything or talking or anything else. Oh, and here is here. Oh, the flash went off. That's okay. There is a new little addition. Um, found this little girl at work yesterday. You can't really see. This is a. Let me see if I can focus you in on her. A female Phytopus Audix was running around my bench at work. So I grabbed her, um, put her in a little cup, brought her home, stuck her in this thing. Um, I'll probably put some dirt or something in here. I don't know if I'll leave her in there or put her in something like, you know, one of these one of these cups or one of those there's a little baby gamer chai little dude doing pretty good still but yeah um, so I have two females now I have one very you could see <laughs> uh -oh, look how fat she is that's because she's got a male inside of her um, I don't I don't there's nothing left I mean she ate she, everything gone the male's completely gone not a trace with with crickets she'll leave carcass she left no carcass with him she's he's in her belly all of them so yeah that's where we're at and uh, again thanks for supporting me thanks for um, looking out um, for the uh, the things I wasn't seeing at the, the moment because I was too busy filming and when I film now I'm filming at night so I'm actually uploading it HD up to um, YouTube by the time it gets ready to upload to YouTube then I just let it upload overnight while I'm sleeping um, because the videos have been long the last few times this one's closing in on 12 minutes so we're gonna that's gonna be the cutoff so we got about 20 seconds left and now uh, and we're going to be all done. Inside there is the Eupalastris campestratus. Probably getting close to molting because it didn't want to eat the last time. Um, and there's Cujo. Still no movement. So I will update you guys on Cujo tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll be updating you on a Brachypelma bomi molting too. But I highly doubt it. So have a good night, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.